Okay, this video is about the mole. And the mole is a unit in chemistry. That's all it is. And you're going to understand why, I think. So, how big are atoms? And the answer is small. So atoms are really, really small. So if we want to count atoms in any meaningful way, we can't use something like the dozen, because a dozen atoms is still too small for us to even really, I don't want to say conceive of, but too small to deal with. So could we count them by what? By the hundreds? I mean, that's bigger than a dozen. No, that's not even good enough. So the way that I think of the mole is, is just a unit it's it's just a unit that we use to count lots of something and in chemistry it's atoms or molecules or what have you so let's do this I guess it makes sense to just tell you what the conversion factor is so here it is one mole and we write MOL uh, one mole is equal to six point oh two and a lot of teachers will put this other two on here, go out to the thousandths place, and I, I guess I, I don't really care too much if you do that, but one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd things. Okay? So we could be talking about, instead of things, we could be talking about atoms, we could be talking about molecules, we could be talking about whatever. Um, a way that I like to write this, uh, I'll write it like this. I'll write one mole equals 6.02 e to the 23rd. I just, it just, I guess it's the way that I'm the most comfortable writing it. So this number, it's called Avogadro's number, which doesn't really matter to us as freshmen at this point in the game, so let's not worry about that. But th just the big idea is that one mole is that many items, things, pieces, whatever we're talking about. So basically, you see that um, this number, times 10 to the 23rd, that's such a huge number. I mean, how long would it take you to count that? Uh, a long, 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 long time. So let's just do uh, a moles and atoms problem. Let's say that we've got uh, uh, 2.5 moles of helium atoms. So this is how we write it, 2.5 moles of HE. And I want to know how many atoms that is. So I've got moles on the top here. So I'm just going to put moles on the bottom. And I'm going to go to atoms. And if you look, one mole right there is that many things. So 6.02 e to the 23rd. And all I have to do is, since these guys are both on top, I just have to multiply this by this and I get my answer so let me do that really quickly here where's my calculator there it is so um, 2.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd and there is my answer now I'm not gonna write that if you like to write that I think you're crazy but hey to each his own uh, if you hit this button on the Windows calculator it makes it into scientific notation. So um, our answer here is, let me switch to my pen again. I hate the way that does that. All right, uh, 1.505, I'm going to call that 1.5 times 10 to the 24 what? Uh, moles canceled. So this is going to be atoms of helium. And that is our answer. So if we have... Uh, 2.5 moles of helium, that is 1.5 times 10 to the 24th atoms of helium. Okay? Um, so likewise, we can go backwards. We can go from, uh, if we can go from moles to atoms, we can go from atoms to moles. So let's say that we had uh, 3.7 times 10 to the 25th uh, atoms of uh, hydrogen, let's say. And I want to know how many uh, moles that is. Well, uh, 1 mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Oops. Notice that we've got atoms on top and bottom. And so this time, you know, last time we multiplied, this time we're just going to divide. So we're going to go 3.7 times 10 to the 25th um, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we get... 
uh, 6.14 times 10 to the 1. I'm just going to call that 61.4. So 61.4 moles, because atoms canceled. So that's moles of hydrogen. All right. Uh, so I'm five minutes in, and I feel like I just kind of took care of this. And so now I want to talk about moles and grams. So let's talk about potassium. Element is K. And if we Google potassium, we see, what do we see here? The atomic number is 19, 19 protons. And we see that this mass number is 39.098. So let's do this. Um, so the mass... 39.098. So the number on the periodic table is pretty sweet because that atomic mass number in grams is what we call the molar mass. In other words, one mole of potassium is 39 point, and I'm going to call it, I'd like to keep a couple decimal places here, so that would round that up. So I'm going to call it 39.1 grams. So one mole of potassium is 39.1 grams. So if you look on your periodic table and you discover that uh, sulfur's mass is about 32 grams, then that means that one mole of sulfur atoms has a mass of 32 grams. So now, just using uh, this little equality here, let's use orange, we can use this equality, to, this equality to switch back and forth between moles and grams, just like we did with the uh, moles and atoms. So just as a quick example, if you had uh, 2.5 moles of, let's say, sulfur, and you wanted to find out how many grams that was, well, right here, one mole of sulfur is 32 grams. So what are we going to end up doing here? Well, moles are going to cancel. Both these numbers are on top, so we're just going to multiply. Uh, 32 times 2.5. I should be able to do that in my head. What is that? 32 is 64, and then half to do 16. So is that 80? I better do that. Um, 2.5 times 32. 8e to the 1, so that is 80. All right, so uh, two and a half moles of sulfur is 80 grams. So if you have 80 grams of sulfur, then you have 2.5 moles of sulfur. Since I think if you're taking this quiz, you, you understand conversions, I'm not going to bother doing a grams to moles problem because I think you could handle that. But I am going to jump ahead and I'm going to do some atoms and grams stuff before I finish this video. So this one right here, atoms and grams, this one is you know, a little bit trickier, but not that bad. It's kind of like just doing a two-step conversion, whereas doing both of these were the one-step conversions way back in the first semester. Remember doing those? Anyway, uh, atoms and grams. So let's just say that I had um, 75 grams of sulfur, and I wanted to know how many atoms that was. Well, I don't have a conversion that goes directly from... Uh, grams to atoms. So what am I going to use as my in-betweener to go from one to the other? I'm actually going to switch to moles first because I know that, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I know that, um, let me write my 75 grams of sulfur here, I know that one mole of sulfur is 32 grams. So if I stop my problem right now, uh, my grams cancel out, so that's gone. And then, I know the relationship between moles and atoms. So uh, one mole of sulfur, or one mole of anything, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And uh, let's see here. Moles cancels out, so then my answer is going to be in atoms, which is what I wanted. So this one, I'm going to do this times this divided by this. So let's do this. Uh, 75 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd equals, and then divided by 32, I get that. And I do not want to write that number, so I hit this button right here, and it's 1.41. I'm just going to call it 1.4 times 10 to the 24th. So. 1.4 times 10 to the 24th atoms 
and probably a good idea to mention sulfur. Okay, so that's 10 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to do an uh, atoms to grams problem because it's basically just the reverse of this problem. Uh, you should be up to that task. So there is my first video on moles. Hope you enjoyed it.